number 19, Joe McElroy, Chase Freeman. First time Joe's ever been on this lake. Good luck, Joe. Boat number 30 is uh, Andy Cobb, Andrew Hall. They won at beautiful Wise Lake last year. Chad Hall, Ryan Hall. Good luck, guys. Welcome everyone to Lake Gunnersville State Park. It's the kickoff to the 2020 campaign of the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. We're at the North Division. Welcome, I'm Robbie Floyd, joined by Kay Donaldson, the program director of the ABT. And Kay, it is a cold start to 2020. I tell you, I mean, I had all year to plan this and I guess I forgot the weather forecast. But yeah, balmy 28 degrees starting this morning, but we've got 225 teams that are ready to get after it. Yeah, a lot of anglers ready to hit the water. 225 two-man teams but it's all about the championship. They're trying to win this individual event, take home their winner's share of the $47,000 purse, but they also get points. That's right, and that's very important because this tournament, probably more than any other tournament, if they've got one fish, they're going to come across the stage with it, so uh, they're going to want those points going into that no-entry fee $100,000 championship at the end of the year. It's a cold start, but I promise you they're going to catch them today. It's Lake Gunnersville, known for big bass. Let's take a look at our first cast. Welcome folks, 2020 Alabama Bass Trail TV, stop number one of the north, beautiful Lake Gunnersville. I'm Chris Brown here with Kenneth Grover, but it's a balmy 28 degrees this yeah. morning, but the sun's coming up. It is. It's getting a little warm, I can feel it. I think there's a high of about 51 today. Talked to some guys this morning and some of them said when that sun comes up, they're going to bite. How, what do you think about it? I think they're right. It, it's been it's been kind of crazy weather leading up to this. Mm -hmm. These guys have waited. I mean, they, they entered back last year. Right. So they've been waiting a long time to get out on the water. They finally got out there this morning. I know they're excited. What's your projection on the wind? Uh, high 20s. High 20s. I'm going to say a dirty 30 might come across the stage. Y'all stay with us. We'll be right back with more. practice. We come up here four days and catch a fish. So are we fishing history here or are we just uh no we just sign a lot. A bunch of bait here. Sure. So here eventually you got to be some fish coming through. I'm a little jealous of the of the uh, suits, aren't you? I mean that's we need stay puff marshmallows. That's it. I mean the suits and the heater. They come the most prepared. And then the last time the Alabama Bass Trail was at Lake Gunnersville, they were the day one leaders at the championship. Didn't go quite the way they wanted to for the second day, but still a, a strong finish. And uh, one of the early boats, they're boat number 19, so they got that early start, got to go to the place they wanted to, and they just told me just a moment ago that they went to their first spot. And guess where they go? I mean, think about it. Classic, huh. Randy Howell. Yeah, they went towards Spring Creek. I asked him if I could say it, and, and they did. And they went to that spot, and he said he texted Randy this morning and said, I'm going to the Howler Bridge, as he called it. Um, didn't have anything, no fish activity really right there. He said there are fish there. They're just not biting right now. So working their way up the riprap, just like we saw somebody do earlier. It just makes sense. You're going to see that, especially in those cold tournaments. Get around the rock, go where things are starting to heat up. He had his first bite just a moment ago, but really not much activity this morning. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, official truck of the Alabama Bass Trail, by TH Marine, improving your boat from transom to trolling motor, and by Jax, all about the South. There's more to come. At Phoenix Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. Whether it's a pro event or fishing with our family and friends, we truly love the sport of fishing. That's why our goal is to make every single Phoenix boat that goes out the door the best fishing platform it can be in both design and construction. We love to fish as much as anyone, and we believe it shows in every boat we build. Phoenix Boats, built 
by anglers for anglers. Dill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Bill Petty. Enjoy a 10-year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24-7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. If you didn't already know, Amherst has great rates on auto loans, and boat loans, and motorcycle loans, and really any loans, including ones for your business. With a variety of terms as low as 2%, we're kind of hard to beat. I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Lifescope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! the first stop of the Alabama Bass Trail, North Division on Lake Gunnersville. If you're a bass fisherman, you've heard and most likely been fishing on this body of water because it's immensely popular and known for big bass. This year's Bassmaster Classic was held here with North Carolina's Hank Cherry Jr. taking home the trophy, catching a three-day total of 65 and a half pounds, leading the field all three days. It's a favorite stop with anglers, but there's plenty more for the families to do as well. Wonderful state park facilities with zip lines and hiking trails, a fantastic lodge, beach, and of course, some great fishing. Let's get back out on the water to our anglers. Man, it's a little chilly. Things are starting to warm up, though. Robbie Floyd here at the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. And take a look over to my right there. How's it going, guys? Good. Yeah, that's Shannon Briggs, Barry Hubbard. A couple of good looking gentlemen. I say good looking because it's looking good for those two because they have two bass in the boat, two keepers in the boat, about five pounds. You know, we're about, what, 8.15 uh, in the morning, so. Gives them a little confidence. You know, we went to a couple of guys today and things really haven't heated up. These guys, yeah, it's been slow, but for slow for them is they have two bass for uh, five pounds. Looks like they've both been doing about the same thing. You can see as they, they reel it in, looks like they've got uh, a trap of some sort, uh, you know, vibrating bait. We see that a lot. We got four. Got four, that's good. What do they weigh? The biggest I weigh four pounds. Yeah, I'd say about 10, 12 pounds, probably. Okay. What are we fishing here? Is just a little flat or a creek bed or, or a whole hog? Yeah, it's a, got some grass right there, some meal grass. It comes up shallow right out there. It's kind of what they've been, we've been catching them all. All right, folks, we've seen a few different boats this morning. A lot of guys that are having a few bites. We've seen a few fish caught. Uh, we know a few teams have got, you know, three or four fish, one team that has a limit. So otherwise it's been kind of slow. Water's starting to warm up a little bit. Temperature's getting warm, air temperature's getting a little bit warmer. Let's go ahead and pitch it over to Kenneth and see what they're finding there in the lake. When we started this morning, we went from the state park over into Seabull Creek and Quite a few boats in there. Saw one boat that had a limit. Wesley Sam's Jordan Wiggins had a limit. They said it was a small limit. Said that the hope the better fish would bite a little bit later in the day. A lot of guys saying that it's much more difficult than what they had in practice. Uh, conditions have changed. The water's gotten colder. We've had two cold nights in a row. The water has definitely gotten colder. So I think most of these guys are hoping that as the sun shines a little bit later in the day, warms up, these fish will start biting. Again. No, wait, don't you show us one. Yeah. How's it compared to what your practice was? 
slow everywhere, you just have to cover a bunch of water. That'll get in one spot and just buckle down. You could be zero or hero. Right. Number five. Here's what we're looking at right here, guys. Lift this bait, it's that time of year over that grass. It's a deadly, deadly combination. Obviously, we just saw him catch a good one there, but uh, we'll see a lot of this today. This portion of the program is sponsored in part by Sweet Home Alabama, by Garmin, and by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, will be right back. Head to Jack's for a classic hand-breaded Southern tradition. Jack's Southern Fried Chicken Sandwich. Fresh, never frozen, scratch-made flavor, just like Grandma made. Try it now for just $4.99 with fries at Jack's, all about the South. At Phoenix Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. Whether it's a pro event or fishing with our family and friends, we truly love the sport of fishing. That's why our goal is to make every single Phoenix boat that goes out the door the best fishing platform it can be in both design and construction. We love to fish as much as anyone, and we believe it shows in every boat we build. Phoenix Boats, built by anglers for anglers. Choose Jack's for chicken that's always fresh, never frozen, hand-breaded with our unique southern recipe. Right now, try our chicken sandwich lineup, the new spicy chicken, our new chicken club, and our classic southern fried chicken sandwich starting at $4.99 with fries. Jack's, all about the south. Two good ones? Got one quite like much to see. That's a good one. Might be about three, three and a quarter. One, two, five, five, five. The right kind, you just need more of them. Yeah, we need more of them. Real little while though. Please be slow. But that wind's finally died down and that sun's still shining, so maybe that'll help things. I hope so. Time's going by quick though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so three for now, and you said I'm trying to chatter bait? Yeah. Sounds like you're staying on a roll on this body of water. I'm whacking them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we don't get one from here to that big tree on the end. That won't be good. So the place we're in, this tournament was actually won here uh, four or five years ago back in this area. And um, I mean, it's a good it's a good spot, but you're right. These laydowns here especially with the amount of rain we've had, you've had a lot more fall in the water just from the ground being so soft. So it's definitely a good area. Anything in the boat at all? We got four. How many? Four. Four, okay. Any weight? No. Three pound, big. Take it one. So far today, we need more wind, I think. Yeah. That's a lot. I've heard a couple of guys say that. How come? One thing, it moves this eel grass out of the way. Right. This is, this is bait. I mean, we need, we need some bait to get pushed up on this bank right here. How's the water clarity compared to what it's been? It's, it's been a little bit cleaner, but not yeah, much. Better than what it's been there. This is like chocolate milk over there. 
One small one. How's the rest of the day been? Cold. Cold and tough. Any more bites? We caught two more, but two short, shorts. Gotcha. So what's plan B, or are we on plan E or F now? <laughs> yeah, we on about plan D right now. I got you. I got you. We're hopping and skipping. We got Delano Green squared here. Junior's decided to fish with us uh, full time with us. Now he's going to college, and uh, Pop said he'd like to have him in the boat. And so far, they have three fish for about, I don't know, nine pounds, they say, right? Roughly. Roughly, right around there. So you know that could be anywhere from four to 14. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, Delano, he, he, he'll tell you the truth. But uh, it's got to be cool having your son on board with you and, you know, getting to experience what you go through every day. I mean, he does it on his own, but getting to do it with Pop's got to be pretty special. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's great. It's something that as a dad you look forward to. You know, have a, a passion that we have to fish it and share it with you, with you something that you can't you just can't ask for nothing else. And you know, you've been fishing this uh, a tour for years and, and getting to do it with your son. The first thing I asked you, I said, did Junior catch one? And the answer is? Yeah, I caught one. He got one. He got one. But I say the schneid's out. I don't have to worry about a skunk or nothing. So I started off good. So he's got 33% of the fish in the boat right now. Right. Looking to increase that to three out of five. Just a bit. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Junior with another one on, just like we had talked about. Number four is in a boat. No fist pump or nothing? Hey, no, get, never give up. I will, come on. Pelvic thrust, give me something. Look at him. Look He's at that. Give me Look at that. I'm going to make a fast cast while Dad's measuring. You make it? Yeah. Four in the boat. Hey, do you realize you got 50% of the fish? Yeah, for right now. <laughs> Dad moving like a ninja? Man. We're back, almost time for weigh-in. What did you see on your end of the lake? Well, we, you know, we took out this morning, didn't go very, very far, uh, saw a lot of boats in there. We were in Seabull Creek and uh, pulled up on the first couple of guys. They were really struggling. Finally went into this little uh, marina area and there were four boats in there. One boat was leaving, so we sat there and watched for a little while. Saw a boat catch three fish. It was uh, uh, Wesley Sam's and Jordan Wiggins. Oh. So they champions from here from yes. back last year, yeah. Okay. So they were off to a good start. That's a good way to start a good cold morning. Okay. Bait wise, what were you seeing? Chatterbaits. All right. Chatterbait, rattlebait, rattle trap, red eye shad, you know, one knockers, all that stuff. That seems to be the key right. this time of year. We pulled into all red, saw a few teams in there, watched two teams catch their limit, um, maybe 12 to 15 pounds max. But both teams made the comment. They're waiting on waiting on the afternoon. Anything prior to 10 o'clock, which we hear a lot, anything prior to 10 was gravy. Right. They're waiting on that sun to come up, waiting on this to get a little bit warmer. We did watch water temperatures rise a couple degrees while right. we're out there. Afternoon bite's gonna be key here. This portion of Alabama Bass Drill TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, Sweet Home Alabama, and by America's First Federal Credit Union. Stay with us, there's more to come. Stetson Blaylock, Todd Orton, Hank Curry, let's go! Garmin Live Scope, I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Live Scope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. Whether it's a pro event or fishing with our family and friends, we truly love the sport of fishing. That's why our goal is to make every single Phoenix boat that goes out the door the best fishing platform it can be in both design and construction. 
We love to fish as much as anyone, and we believe it shows in every boat we build. Phoenix Boats. Built by anglers for anglers. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. The splash of your paddle mimics the pelican as it drops down from above. As the calmness of the water washes away any lingering concerns, you listen to the tall grass sing of the surrounding beauty and how the best views only get better when they're shared. This is Alabama. And when you're here, you can take it all in. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Bill Petty. Enjoy a 10-year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24-7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. We are literally going to try and fly through these as fast as possible today because everybody will probably be weighing in fish. We've already had four weigh in, but take a look at the leaderboard. Bradley Jones, Brooks Goza, 20.14 pounds, led by a Mountain Dew Big Bass of 7.03. So one fish, already a seven pounder, has crossed the scales in the first four. Five fish. Oh, that's right. And we've got a new leader here, Alex and Blake. 2172, another 20 pound bag. Good to shake your hand. Good job, brother. Well, we started out, it started out a little slow. Um, the first hour was really slow. And as soon as that sun peaked up, uh, we started catching some fish. The first fish that I boated was the biggest one of the day. And then we, we, we fished uh, about a thousand yard stretch of grass. And we went back and forth, back and forth, just milking it for everything it was worth. This is with four bass, ladies and gentlemen, taking the lead. Four bass at a total of 24.07. It was, uh, we just didn't have many bites. We had five bites all day, we had one short fish. Uh, you know, we were just blessed. God just, he shined. I know we saw you guys on the water this morning. It was, I don't know, 8.30, 8.40? Yeah. When we pulled up on you, you said you had not had a bite. That's right. And it, we started making fun of the Lucky 13, your boat 13 this morning, and all of a sudden you catch a, a really good fish. Was that your, your biggest fish? No, it was not. It was, uh, we caught the big fish about uh, 1 o'clock, or about 11 o'clock, I guess, around 11 o'clock. Our lead was, was 24.07. New leader. 30.33 pounds. We got our first 30 pound bag. Well, we had a starting yesterday. We had a really tough practice uh, yesterday in practice. We uh, we were gonna go hit some uh, new stuff and try to find something what we already had going. And by mid morning, we had no bites. I think I had one bite and Mike had none. And then we said we better go hit our tournament stuff. So we went and made a good pass through our tournament holes and uh, never caught a fish yesterday. We were really uh, discouraged. Went back this morning to those same places and pulled in there and caught two fish right off the bat. Weighed about 16 pounds. Uh, seven and an eight and a half and uh, after that they started dropping the water a little bit and uh we really struggled after that but we were at managed uh, another five pounder and one almost five and then a, a four so we were able to scrape together so that 30 pound bag is not quite as impressive as as what it really was out there on the water it was actually a really tough day so we were really fortunate to get those two big fish early wesley sam jordan wiggins hi here it's your first time on uh got a... y'all clapping for me or them both of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. The clan, y'all do have the best cheering section every stop, without a doubt. We do. Everywhere we go. Now, um, how did your fishing go? Pretty good day. I see a limit. Is that right? Yeah. A limit moving in the top five. Sam's and Wiggins, 24-67. That's going to move them into second place. 
Well, we, we was throwing a chatterbait, and we, we had a lot of chartreuse in it, and we took the chartreuse out, and they, I don't know why they liked it better today, but that was the whole key. It's, I ain't never seen it change like that on this lake. Usually they'll they'll eat any like the bait you're throwing in practice. They'll eat it, and n nothing really changed. The water stayed the same, and so they just didn't like that chartreuse today. It's, it's crazy. That's fishing though. Well, it was a cold start. It was a cold finish now, but boy, was it hot in between for Robinson and Carter. I mean, 30 pound bag. We thought it was possible, and they made it happen. I mean. What a day on Lake Gunnersville. Yeah, I mean, Lake Gunnersville, you always expect big weights. And now I want to bring in the winners. First time winning on the Alabama Bass Trail. How does it feel and to do it so convincingly? Uh, it, was, it was very humbling today beating all these guys. These are some of the best fishermen there are in the country and definitely in the state of Alabama. What do you think was the difference for you when a lot of people struggled? I mean, it, it was a struggle for many out there today, but you did not struggle. Yeah, I hate to say it, but uh, not being afraid of that muddy water out there was the biggest difference. We, we watched most of the boats running, looking for clean water. We looked for the mud. Now we get to head south. We go to Jordan. I mean, that's going to be a tough, uh, tough feat to get 30 pounds, but maybe. You know, we talked about a dirty 30, and they looked for mud, and they found a dirty 30. <laughs> so I'm excited to go to Lake Jordan. I mean, Lake Gunnersville holds a special place in the heart of the Alabama Bass Trail, but so does Lake Jordan. We've had some phenomenal tournaments there. It's the smallest body of water we go to, but it always produces. Well, you're our leaders. Keep it up. We'll see if you can win that ABT uh, title for the North. We're heading down south. Lake Jordan next, right here on the Alabama Bass Trail, presented by Phoenix Boats.